video C, we're going to look at an important concept. If I have a shape that looks like this, and we're going to split that into thirds, and one of the thirds is going to be white, and one of the thirds is going to be red, and one of the thirds is going to be blue, and we are going to add them up. So one third plus one third plus one third and what we're going to get is we're going to get three thirds. Now boys and girls if the numerator if the numerator and the denominator are the same that is going to be equal to one. So four over four is equal to one. One over one is equal to one. Two over two is equal to one. One thousand over one thousand is equal to guess what it's equal to one and that's a very important concept because we're gonna start working with some problems that have something new in in it so I'm gonna erase this okay if you've written this down fantastic I'm just afraid I'm gonna run out of space and I don't like running out of space that bothers me so let's look at this now we're gonna start solving for some problems that I'm just going to box this out right here, just because I'm going to write up here. Um, so if I have 2 fifths plus n over d is going to give me 1. Now, boys and girls, the one thing we have to think about when we think of 1, we have to think of 1 is when our numerator and our denominator are the same. Now, conveniently, boys and girls, with this problem, they've given us the language already so we know what D is going to be we know what the bottom number is going to be and we can envision it as 5 now if it's 1 we know the numerator and the denominator are the same so the top number has to be 5 whoops that's a horrible parenthesis I'm gonna can I erase that I guess I can't so now what did we do so now we have to figure out what n equals and what does D equal. Well, we should know that D equals because the denominator is not going to change all through the problem. So D is going to equal 5. And we're going to have ask ourselves, 2 plus what will give me 5? Well, 2 plus 2 is 4. 2 plus 3 is 5. So if this is 3, 2 plus 3 is going to give me 5. Right? Let's look at another problem just like that here. This one I want you to pause as we go through to make sure you understand. If I have three ninths, ooh, I don't like the way this is writing right now. Hopefully we can get it to work better here. Let's try it again. Three ninths plus n over d is going to equal one. So the question is, what is n and what is D? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we should know that 1 is going to be the number over itself. And we're kind of given the number right here. So we know that it should be 9 over 9. And that's what 1 is going to be. So how do we get to 9 over 9? N is equal to what? And D is equal to what? Well, the D one's easy because we just go straight across. That's not going to change. So that answer is 9. So the question is, 3 plus N will give us 9. What plus 3 gives us 9? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, you can't see what I was doing, but I was counting on my fingers, and I got 6. So N equals 6, D equals 9. Let's look at, let's look at the other side now. Let's look at subtraction. If I have the number 1, and I'm going to subtract 7 tenths, I will get n over d. And again, we're going to solve for n, and we're going to solve for d. So, boys and girls, what is 1 in this case? What is 1? Well, we know what our denominator is. So our language is 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill in, we're going to replace 1 with our language. And our language is 10. 
And what is 1 if our denominator is 10? Well, then this is going to be 10 as well. So then I can go straight across. This we know is going to be 10. But then on the top, which the numerator changes, it's going to be 10 minus 7, which is going to give us 3. So our numerator is 3. Our denominator is 10. Let's look at one more problem here. 1 minus 8 over 17 equals n over d. And again, we're solving for n equals and d equals. Well, the first we have to make sure get this in the right form. And what I'm going to do instead, I'm just going to erase this because I can. And we're going to put something else. Well, if we know our language is 17, this is going to be 17. And what is 1? Well, it's going to be 17 over 17. Now I can solve this problem. The first part is easy, I think. It's 17, 17. It's going to stay 17. And now we have to do some mathing, don't we? 17 less 8, well, that's going to equal n. n is equal to 9. Now, hopefully this is making sense. If not, this would be a good time that if you are available, talk to Mr. Winkleman to see if you can give you a hand. If, if he can give you a hand, because we got one more problem to work with on this one. Give me a second here. All right, uh, this cutout. Uh, a woman has walked eight-tenths of the length of a sidewalk. How much farther does she need to go to reach the end? Well, she's walked eight tenths. So the question is how many more tenths does she need to go? Well we could do this one of two ways. We could start counting at eight and go nine tenths and ten tenths and we know that it would be about two tenths. But let's actually do it the mathematically way. The mathematically, oh my goodness, the mathematical way. So we're going to start with one minus eight tenths is going to equal question mark. First thing we're going to do is we're going to convert this to the right language. Instead of 1, okay, we're going to convert that to 10. Oops, sorry. 10. Oh, 10 over 10. Now, with 10 over 10, boys and girls, we're ready to subtract across. First thing we know is that this, our denominator is not going to change. It's going to be 10, and then 10 less 2. Is, I mean less 8, I just gave you the answer, is going to be 2. So she has 2 ace remaining. Alright, so that is video number 3. Um, sorry, that one's a little bit long. Well, this one's a little bit long. The next one is all about problems. So I'm going to basically give you problems. Pause the video. Right, I mean copy the problems or glue the problems. Pause the video, solve them, and then check and see how you did. All right. Good work so far, though.